week. New this morning at 6, Chicago hit a grim milestone after a very violent weekend. CBS 2's Susanna Song is live at Chicago Police Headquarters to give a rundown of the numbers for us. Susanna? Well, good morning, Chris and Marissa. To sum up the 4th of July weekend from Wednesday night to Sunday night, it's been bloody with possibly more than 55 people shot, an additional 10 people shot dead. Now, if we add that to the tally, it brings the number of homicides up to 202, which means we hit that 200 mark, but still police say it is down from 275 for the same time last year. Even so, it brings little comfort to Jaden Donald's family, the five-year-old, is fighting for his life at Advocate Christ Medical Center. He's in critical condition this morning. He was shot a couple hours after watching fireworks on the 4th of July. Family and friends held a prayer vigil outside of his hospital Sunday, praying for a speedy recovery. 24-year-old Donald Chambers has been charged in the shooting. Prosecutors say he is a gang member, and he opened fire at Cooper Park, injuring not only Jaden, but also two adults. In court yesterday, he was denied bond. Now, Jaden's family pastor had this message for all of Chicagoland. This is not an Inglewood problem. This is not a Southside problem. This is all of our issue. It doesn't matter if you live in the suburbs or on the north side. If one of God's children is being struck down, it is all of our issue. Now, Pastor Dan Lewis said Jaden is on a ventilator. A bullet went through his spleen, pancreas, and kidney. He is asking for everyone to lift up a prayer for Jaden this morning. Reporting live outside of Chicago Police Headquarters, I'm Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. Marissa and Chris. All right, Susanna, thank you. Governor Quinn's